don't care. You know what? Phil should have taken some years off back when I was competing. You know, um, in fact, if it were up to me, I'd have had him take at least a good five years off when, uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, it's an interesting call, you know. Phil is a success, you know. Phil is a success that is, he has nothing to prove. Um, so him turning around and finding reason to discover some other things that I think he should be thinking about with what has been the product of his success. I think you almost have to do that in order to really get a chance to explore the value of what work you have already done. You know, he's done a lot of work. And I think at some point, if he doesn't take the time to realize, then I think the sport wouldn't be able to give him the respect that he needs. You know, um, he has to do that. Um, and if he doesn't do it, it's going to be a tragedy for himself. And I know what I'm saying probably doesn't even, you know, um, so you might have to edit that. But, uh, yeah, man, you know, Phil not competing this year, I think, is a, is a good decision for him as the man. Um, as far as the athlete is concerned, there'll be plenty of other time to realize that. But if he doesn't do what he needs to do as the man um, and nurture that stuff, then, you know, he can lose in the long run. So him not competing this year, um, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't question his decision on that. I don't question his decision. I know there are people that will, you know, because the sport is hurt by him not being there. The Olympia was hurt by Phil not being there. Um, but ultimately, you can almost question whether or not it's been appreciated, you know, whether he was there or not. Um, if they can't appreciate it, then... You know, and how does the sport say that they appreciate what you bring? You know, I think the, the quality of the sport is elevated by his presence there. I really do. Um, I think with him there, he brings something that I question whether or not is, is able to be received. You know, if right now, there's so much talk about some other things that don't exist in bodybuilding 101. I, and I don't want to say things. What am I saying? I don't want to. Ah, I'm going off. Let me just say this. Phil not being there, uh, the sport loses out. Yes. You know, uh, the promotion certainly gets this lost. The opportunity for the, the interest and the fanship, I think, sometimes can get lost. It does present new opportunity for some of the younger talent that's coming up to get some more spotlight, to serve notice that they're there. It allows people in the business to start taking notice of, you know, some of the other things that are being offered in the way of other packages, other talent, Will Bonac, a lot of other guys that are now able to come, you know, even Ruli. Um, and not just really, but a number of new athletes that would otherwise not be able to get talked about, you know, because of how monopolized the spotlight can become when you have a lot of the big names there. You know, Big Rami not being there, you know, Phil Heath not being there gives an opportunity for some of the younger talent to come up and to fill those spots and to get some of the spotlight that they deserve, you know. Um, so, yeah, I... Phil not being in there is good for him. Um, it, it doesn't have to hurt the sport because now we're able to turn around and think about some of the new talent and nurturing some of the new talent and giving some of the spotlight that needs to be, you know, to the new talent. Um, and, yeah, I think it makes things very interesting when we think about what's going to happen, you know, for 2020, you know. Um, should Phil think about getting on stage and running in the King Kai? I mean, um, you know, I don't know. But uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Stay tuned. Phil, stay tuned. <laughs>